There are lots of things I'll do in the name of science, but I don't want to rot just yet. This poor individual who died of natural causes just a few hours earlier makes a pretty good stunt double. I've been waiting for you. It's been so long. So a pig will be really good for our test to see how long it takes a human to decompose. Their size is about the same, their skin is really similar to humans, they've got the same kind of muscle to body fat ratio, and their general physiology is quite similar to humans. It's as good a substitute for a human as we can get, really. Apart from the snout and the trotters, I suppose. To find out what happens to our bodies once we've pegged it, we're going to film this pig's decomposition 24-7. Although this is a fresh corpse, the pig is changing by the second. I thought it went stiff pretty quick. What you're talking about is called rigor mortis, which is the contraction of the muscles. It begins at about three hours after death. Let's leave him and see what happens. To protect our pig from scavengers, we've covered him with a shelter and netting. But this doesn't stop the flies, which arrive almost immediately as they can smell death from miles away. Soon after, the pig's body is bloated with gases from its rotting flesh. Just a few days later, the corpse is riddled with maggots. There's not much left of it now. That is that's pretty rank. The corpse has been through a process called autolysis. This is where the cells are broken down by their own enzymes, almost like the body is actually eating itself. It looks like it's burst or something. Well, yeah, that's pretty much what has happened. First of all, it bloated with all the buildup of gases inside it, and then the body tissues uh, have liquefied and purged out. And once this happens, the dinner bell rings for these beauties. There were flies kind of coming almost immediately. Um, that's what's led to the maggots, right? Yeah, they laid their eggs almost immediately around the natural orifices like the eyes and the snout. And the eggs will have been uh, hatching out into maggots and the maggots will be eating the body tissues. They might be revolting, but maggots can be key witnesses in murder cases. By working out how old the maggots are, pathologists can calculate the victim's time of death. What's all that stuff? Oh, it's all wriggling. That's liquefied body tissue that has then been agitated by the, the movement of the maggots. That's why it's kind of foamy like that. It's, um, it's getting to that stage. <laughs> it really is getting <laughs> to that stage where the smell is just so rank that I can no longer really stand it. 